day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey, I'm glad you're back, man. We're excited. We we continued on our study dealing with the lake everlasting fire. And the fact is that it was prepared for the devil and his angels. And, and I'm continuing that study. We studied that this way. This is part A. Well, we really got into that word again. And we really talked about the fact. And, and if y'all didn't catch that part, I was saying is that life is like a high day, highway. You're born in this world and you're immediately on this life journey that you have. And, and that life journey has an end point. And because of Adam, you're going to go off to the end of that road into the destruction if you don't take the exits that leads to the highway of life. There's many lanes in the highway to destruction. But Jesus said it's a highway to life. So I want you to sit there and 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 and. and Continue on listen to our study and recognize, man, you you the exes are there. You have a choice. You can either continue to stay on your highway that, that leads to destruction, or you can get on the highway to light. The exits, there's a toll on each of those exits, but Jesus gave you an easy pass. You can go ahead and get onto the highway of light. And there is connected to the Father. We talked about in John 14, 6. That Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by Christ. Amen. So I want you to enjoy the study. In this part of the study, we're getting ready to go into, I want, something I thought it was very interesting. We went into the part of the study after we reviewed the uh, Matthews 25 or 41. And, and, and the fact that the, the scripture clearly says that the eternal fire or the everlasting fire for the devil and angels. And then we talked about the fact is that those who were selected to go there were people who didn't care about those who were sick, those that were in prison, those that were naked, those that were hungry, those who were thirsty. Uh, and, and, and that's something you have to look at and say is that do you have a compassion for the least of these? But the other piece we're saying is after we got to that, then we went into the Revelation chapter 20 about the great white throne. And we talk about the fact is that the great white throne is judgment day. Now, in the judgment day on in chapter 20, the great white throne is focusing on the dead. We said that the dead are those who are not connected to God through Jesus Christ. Whether you accept that or not, that's up to you. I'm just telling you what the word's saying by faith. The only way you, you can be connected to God is as Jesus said, marvel not, you must be born again. All right. So we talk about the fact is that if you are connected to God, you don't go before the great white throne. <laughs> so my point is, it's not for those that are alive. It's for those that are dead in the spirit. Meaning their spirit is dead. Meaning their spirit is not connected to God. So they're therefore they're dead. And they, they will go before the great white throne. And their book and books will be open concerning each of those persons' life. I call it the case files. But the Bible said the books will be open and reviewed about your life. You know, most of us know that if 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 our books were open, if, if somebody could open the book of your life right now, I'm pretty sure there's some chapters that you really don't want anybody to look at. Well, they're going to be looked at anyway by God, and they're going to be reviewed by God, and you're going to be judged. Your entire life will be judged by God if you're not born again. The good news is if you're born again, you're covered by the blood of Jesus and you have already received eternal life through Jesus Christ. So therefore, you will not go before the great white throne. But if, like I said, you want to take your chances, your file will be reviewed. And I guarantee you, I'm going to tell you, I don't think many of us want our file, our books to be read. And the whole point is, have a God judge, many will go into the lake of fire. And I said is, it was not prepared for them. It's not prepared for you. 
You don't have to have your life reviewed because it's covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, your personal Lord and Savior. But if you do, it's going to be reviewed and then God will make a righteous decision concerning you. But you don't have to go before the white, great white throne. You can just get on the highway that leads to life. Amen. But remember this. Look at Revelation 20. The something called the great white throne. You don't want to go there. Amen. So I hope you enjoy this study. And look, it's, it's a gospel. The gospel is I have eternal life. You have eternal life through Jesus Christ. Just make the right decision. Amen. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you next time. All right. God bless. Bye bye. Good morning, Father in heaven. Thank you. Lord, you are worthy to be praised, honored, and glorified. Yes. And we are once again enthusiastic about being here this yes, morning. Yes. Come on. Uh, we come from different parts of, of, uh, of this country, dear Father. Yes. And uh, in some kind of way, dear Lord, you have chosen us to, Thank to be here at this particular point in time to hear your word, to learn from your word. Learn from your word. So that we can not keep this to ourselves, but to, to go out into the world and, and, and spread this good news, this yes. gospel, yes. gospel about yes. your son, Jesus Christ. Come on now. <laughs> Dear Father, we thank you that you are our Father. And, yes. and that uh, as Jesus taught us, yes. that we ought to give you the glory, you the glory. And that all that we do should be to glorify you. Yes. So as we are here this morning to renew our minds, help us to internalize. Yes. And, and, and to, to, to soften our hearts yes. so that whatever message you have for each and every one of us and whoever hears this message, that's it. that we're ready for it and we accept it. Come on. we got to remember that your ways are not our ways and yes. our ways are not your ways. So we choose, we choose, we choose. to do your will, yes. not our own. Dear Lord, we all have our challenges. Yes. And we ask that you give those challenges attention. Thank you. And that even if the, the suffering doesn't go away, yes. that you will, we are we know that you are always with us going through it. Going through. And that whatever we go through, it's for your glory. Yes. We thank you, Jesus, thank for all that you have done for us. Making that impossible way possible. You were the only one that could do it, dear Jesus, and we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that lives in us, for those who believe. Yes. And for those who still struggling or who, who don't believe but you're just wondering come on let that holy spirit touch you and and and, and just tap you on the shoulder and, and at least cause you to think and ponder yes because there's so much out there and for all of eternity we have that opportunity if you if you just believe in the sun yes for all of eternity you will be with god in glory yes so we bless those that are here yes. we bless those that are listening and those who will listen later Yes. And get that glory from God. We say all these things in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. 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 Hey, brother, we were talking about last week, we were focusing on Brother Addison about the fact, and the, the title is called Knowing Him Means Not Going to Hell. Okay. okay. All right? And, 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 and we, we keyed off on Aaron Rodgers. You remember when Jim was talking about, go take a look at Aaron Rodgers. Uh, video he had interviewed uh, and he was saying is that he, he's not a Christian because you know 144,000 going to heaven and he said that just don't seem right for some big people right. all be condemned to go to hell right. uh, and if he if he listened to this that he probably miscalculated because it's not seven billion that's living now it's, it's talking about throughout time mm -hmm. right so that was, I think, Brother Dollar said it one time. I said, 144,000? Oh, we got 144,000 in there right now, right? <laughs> you talk about, let's go 2,000 years. Let's go back even further. Oh, we got 144,000 in there now, right? And, and, and what, we, the, the, what I was talking about is, you know, talking about the ministry is supposed to equip the saints to do the work in the ministry. Yeah. It's because there's a lot of misunderstanding about the gospel, yeah. right? First of all, the gospel is the good news. All right? Hell mm -hmm. is not meant to be something that, that is, is, is to scare you. The gospel is to say you don't have to go. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? It's you don't have news. to go. It's the good news is, yes, it's there, but it ain't where you have to go. Right, right. 
and it is not for 144,000, it's for a number that no man can number. Amen. Amen. That's in Revelation chapter 7. See, he read chapter 7, or oh, he heard. I wish he didn't read it. He heard. There, there were 144,000 Jews that, that, that were meant to go preach the gospel. Yeah. But it's a, a number that no man can number is before the throne of Amen. God. Amen. 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 And that's why we want to make sure people know that, is that God is not trying to get you into hell. And then also let you know hell is not the final place. Mm -hmm. All right? So, so what I wanted to do, we stopped at the, uh, and I think, now Chris, did we come with you and talk about, we, we, Chris was talking about the fact that he, Aaron is not a bad person because we're not saying he was a bad person, he's a searching person. Amen, that's right. All right? That's right. Searching for answers. And, and, and that's where the saints are supposed to be equipped to give those answers. Mm -hmm. They both say, well, well Aaron, you, do you believe that? Let, let me go ahead and show that in writing. Well, that's not true that you're saying. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes. But but if you don't if you don't know that yourself, it's hard to explain to somebody. That's right. Right? No, no, no. Okay, I'm not a No, I understand. I was just thinking back. You know, we have these scriptures to present to people and to extrapolate. Yes, sir. And explain. The revelation that's in it, mm -hmm. but prior to yeah. this Bible, yeah. that's what I was, I was like, ooh, yeah, you yeah. know how tough is that? It, come on now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, For I, somebody to 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 have a a, a paradigm, yeah, yeah, about the a relationship with God, right? And then when the paradigm shift comes, come on, you don't have anything tangible, no. If you had not seen Jesus, exactly. That, you know, at that particular time, right. I'm like, ooh, man, that's and, tough. And you remember a lot of people would go to church and they, they or even getting ready to come into the gospel, go by trying to act uh -huh. as as what they think Christians are supposed to be. We 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 the Hollywood got the damn pack, you know. Yeah. Everybody knows how to act, yeah. and that's why some of these I'm not ready to go yet because they're not ready to act yet. But when they're ready to act, and they come in with the full role of acting. Not understanding about the gospel itself, mm -hmm. and that's what we want to teach people. Yes, but but a lot of cases they, they have been used. Ministry has been used as a tool to make put people in a guilt trip mm -hmm. and to exclude people mm -hmm. from it. And we we need to be able to show them now, man. God is trying to find as many ways as possible to get people into heaven. All right. And, and one of the things you, I did come up with my own little parable. I want to share this with you, Brother Isaac, because I think you'll like it. It's, it was a good parable. It's a good parable. What we're saying is, for a take example, that this ta these tables right here represents the highway of life. All right? And this is the beginning, coming at the beginning, coming into life, born. And since you come from the seed of Adam, you're born condemned. Because he's a sinner, right? And the way to sin is death, mm -hmm. correct? So everybody born into this world is on this highway of death, all right? Yes. And imagine what I'm saying is that this highway is heading toward a bridge that leads to heaven, and because of Adam, the bridge is out. Mm -hmm. And no matter what you do, as long as you're on this highway, you are going toward destruction. And eventually you'll get to the your end of life, and everybody has a different different end. Mm -hmm. But once you get there, if they don't have a bridge to get to the Father, and the Father, as Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Look, no one comes to the Father but by me. That's right. Amen? Amen. So that's why Jesus came as a Savior. And that's really what it means, a Savior anyway, a deliverer. Is, is to get you to heaven. He became that bridge right. that you get to. But, imagine you will, as this highway you see, and like I said, you can use this as a ministry tool, what I'm trying to say. This highway has many lanes in it. You got Buddha, you got the Islam, you got all kinds of lanes you can shift on the highway, Brother Jackson. Mm -hmm. However, Jesus is an exit. Mm -hmm. And his exits are all the way through your life. There's an exit to Jesus. Mm -hmm who takes you to the next lane, mm -hmm. the next highway over, mm -hmm. 
that has a bridge connected to God. Amen. And even if you think you need to pay a toll, he is giving you what you call an easy pass. Mm -hmm. Come on, Amen. man. <laughs> so that you can easily get off that road because he paid, he already paid it. the price Amen. of the toll. Right. Once you get on that highway, come on now, bro. Like then you can go right across that bridge uh -huh. when this time comes. And on that highway, there's a bunch of living, there's health, there's healing, there's a lot of things on that highway, some benefits mm -hmm. on that highway. Mm -hmm. But you got to get off the exit. Mm -hmm. And that's the only exit is Jesus. And those exits, and I like it, like you can use these chairs right here, it's like exit, Jesus exit here, Jesus exit here, Jesus exit here, all the way to the end of that table Amen. are exits. Amen. So he gives you, he's calling us, he calling everybody to, to get off the, the road. Because I like that one thing about one thing you were on the highway, you remember saying this is that last exit before tolls. Right. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Th in this case, it's last exit before you get to the bridge. And unfortunately, this bridge is out. Amen. Right. But if you keep driving, <laughs> that's where you're going. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. So, but, so, so easy passes out there on this highway of life. Mm -hmm. And we we'll all have a choice. That's the thing about it. He's not making you. You have to choose to get off the exit. Just like any other highway. You, you have to choose when you're going to get off. Right? Or you stay on it. And that's what it said. Broad is the way to destruction. Yes. Yep. Huh? It's a better exit before you run out of gas or you stuck on the highway. Ooh, you stuck on the highway. And the problem is that the highway, I think the highway has a tendency that if you, if you, uh, you run out of gas, uh, then somebody will come tow you yeah. <laughs> and take you still to the bridge. Because all they know is that this road leads you one way, and they'll be glad to take you because the devil ain't going to let you stay on the, on the road. You're going. You're going to go, either you're going to go there or you take an exit. Amen? Amen. Now, the scripture right here, Matthew 25, 41, this is one, Chris, I think we left off at, I believe. Uh, and, and let you read that, that first verse there. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. And that's what we saw right there, Brother Jackson, is the fact is that where is it prepared for? Who is it prepared for? The devil and his angels. Come on, man. I mean, that's the, that's the whole purpose of Jesus is trying to say. That's done intentionally. Mm -hmm. That it was not ever been prepared for the children of God. Right. For mankind. It was mm -hmm. not prepared for mankind. Mm -hmm. It was prepared for the devil and his angels. Chris. I mean, that that's just need to understand that. That was what was prepared for. It's not prepared for you, but guess what? It can accommodate you. Mm. Woo! It will accommodate you. <laughs> there he is. Uh oh. oh. Actually, it was. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? You mean it was prepared for you? Or it accommodated you? It 
number then. <laughs> it was confident. It, we said it was prepared for the devil and his angels. Yes, but it can accommodate whosoever. Yes, Amen? Amen? Whosoever can go there. But it's prepared for the devil and his angels. And I'm just saying is that we, we need to be able to understand when you're preaching the gospel, it need to, I think that's a very critical piece to understand. Yes. It is not prepared for you. But it can accommodate you. The Bible says it enlarges itself. It enlarges itself. Right. Nice. There you go, you know. And they were talking about some of the, some of the traits that, uh, that those who don't receive God does. Mm -hmm. Okay? And, and then, if, Chris, you're going to finish reading that and saying this. Those type of things that he would like us to do as we are equipped as saints mm -hmm. to do. What are those, Chris? Okay. Verse 42, right? 42. For I was... A hungry, and he gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and he gave me no drink. And you know what he was saying? I, yeah. mm -hmm. God, right. was saying, okay. Mm -hmm. I was a stranger, and he took me not in, mm -hmm. naked, and he clothed me not, sick and in prison, and he visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hunger? or actors, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee. Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye did it not unto one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. Mm -hmm. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous unto life eternal. And you know one thing about righteous just mean right standing with God. Yes. Alright? That just mean receiving Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, before when I used to read this passage, yes, sir. I was thinking of anybody I ran into. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But now when I'm reading this now, yes, sir. to me it's talking about uh, people who have already accepted Christ. Why would you say that anyway? Because um, I think you think about one said, "Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name?" Well, no. I'm talking about when he says, "I was hungry." Yes, sir. You know, it was always I. Yes, sir. And Christ isn't in an I unless they accept Him. Well, that's that's interesting. That's a big. That's a that's a bridge you cross there. I was trying to try to you connect. Yeah. You connect that. So that that's that's that, what that's what I'm saying. Now that I'm reading this, I'm wondering, you know, it, it, it kind of it kind of brings it takes a burden off of me. Okay. It really does because you never know mm -hmm. when you miss an opportunity to 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 share the gospel. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know, and you never know if the uh, you, you may not be sensitive. Yes, sir. To the Holy Spirit when He's moving you mm -hmm. to share because I don't think you're just supposed to share, you know. Just that on a whim, mm -hmm. anybody, because you'll never, Be you, yeah. you can't exist okay. if that's all you do. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And, uh, and then it's a, uh, against the law in some places, <laughs> you know, to, to, to do this. Uh, to do what? With, to, anyway. to share the gospel while you're, at, while you're under your employment, you know, like on the base. I thought, I, you know, I thought you it, I really like correct. I thought it was that you couldn't sit there and try to pros, you know, try to uh, proselytize or try to get somebody to get saved. Basically, that's what I'm saying. You you, you can't share the gospel. Oh, well, well, so, 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 so. But I, well, I want to tell her that though. Seriously, that that makes sense. But I want to tell her a little bit. Is you saying, hey, you know, the Lord led me to feed this person who was hungry the other day. Uh -huh. You know, that that's not me. That's not me trying to get you saved. That's yeah. just telling me I did some good deed here. I have somebody. Yeah, but, I, prison ministry. But then I, let's, let's get back to, to the topic, though. You know, you can give to people who aren't saved. Right. That's that's all you know, Yeah. But what I'm saying is, I think, I just think, because he okay. says I. Okay. In these, these different uh, situations and right. circumstances. Right. He's not in it. You know, people who aren't saved, and, and that's why I'm, I'm, I'm just. Wait, wait. He, I think we we're trying to say, but we can't say this piece at the end of it. Saying if you do this to the least of these, the, then, 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 then you're doing that to me. 
But if you don't, you're also doing that to me. You ignore if you ignore the least of these, yes. you ignore my creation. Yes. You know, all these people are made in the image of me. Oh. Okay. Every last one of them made in the image of me, right? All we are not made in the image of God. Yeah. Right? Think about it. I'm just trying to tell you because I mean, if I'm reading, I, I heard your connection. And I'm looking at this connection. It's just saying is if you didn't do the least to these people that were in prison, they were hungry, they were sick. He ain't talking about the body of Christ as, as, as being sick, right? But it means individuals could be sick. Don't, don't get me wrong with that. But he's, he's, he's not referring that all the people I'm talking about are saved people. He's just saying is if you don't do this to my to the world, to the love and love people. He just wants us to love people. Matter of fact, you do more ministry by your actions than by your words. I guess in one way, how you were doing that is when uh, Jesus was healing. Yeah, he was healed. Uh, likewise, yeah. he healed and he he said, hey, you know, uh, repent no more. Yeah. Those are individuals who mm -hmm. prior to that were not mm -hmm. one of his. Yeah. So I, I, well, but I, I still get, they were, there, there, there was there was very healing. few. Matter of fact, I don't know anyone that was outside the children of Israel. Well, don't forget the woman that, 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 that the woman that was uh, there, that he said the crumbs from the table. Yeah, because he said the children. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. But he still related that to uh, post cross. He was post cross, right? right? No, it was pre cross when he did it, obviously. Yes, sir. Because he was here. But he connected it mm -hmm. to to uh, salvation. Yes, sir. He he actually in, in his words to her he connected. To, I can't remember exactly what, what he said. Yeah. Um, he, was, anyway, he, was, he, he said he said he came to feed the children. Yes. You know? It's not good good to give the dogs. Yes. The the, the stuff that you was give to the children. Mm -hmm. And then she showing her faith said. Even the dogs eat the crumbs that falls yes. off the table of the children. Yes. But then he said something after that, and I don't want to misquote it, <laughs> that uh, I know he mentioned her faith. Yes, sir. Her. Of course. Yes. Because that, that's what, that's the only thing that moved that he to anybody outside of the That's what he recognized, even Abraham. Yeah. 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 By and faith. so, uh, but still, just, just to me, all the miracles were for the, the disenfranchised, I should call them, you know, children of God. Well, he was called, remember, he was called to preach the gospel yeah. to the children of Israel. Yeah. But, you know, that translated is for them to reach the world, go preach the yeah, gospel that to was, the world. Yeah, but that was, like I said, while, while he was here fulfilling the law. Yes, sir. You know, and uh, exposing those religious leaders. Yes, sir. At the same time. He was more centered for the children of Israel. Right. You know, it was his purpose. That was his purpose. I mean, there was only a few mo few times, mm -hmm. two that I can remember. Yeah, remember the centurion? Yeah. But even the centurion was using his faith to get a, a child of, of God. Right. You know, he. Or ch a, 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 a child is on the covenant. Yes. Yeah, right. A covenant. Of, yeah. Yeah. The children so, of Israel. Yeah. So, uh, so that brings it down to one that I can only remember. Yeah. And um, so, anyway, it doesn't matter. I, know. This, this, this I, I, just want, I just want to bring the point of that is that he was just really saying is that to do the least of these, and he said to the children of Israel and to the children of God, and just said to the least of these. Because some of the least of these, like the ones in prison, they may not be children of God. Yes. Right? And people are sick, not all people are sick. We know that. So it's really talking about just doing the least of these people. You yeah. do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then he would like us to do it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, of course. You know what I mean? We're doing it in his name. Uh, but so that's how I was looking at that. Uh, but let's go about the fact is that the everlasting eternal fire, but as it was not okay. meant for man, Ant man so the devil is angel. So now let's go to the Revelation 20. And I'll let you read that. 2011 through 15, and we're interrupting you as, as appropriate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. And I saw a great white throne. Uh uh, man. And what's that, bro? You want to tell us about that? White throne? What is that? The great white throne? Uh huh. That, that's, uh. What that represent? 
That represents God. And it represents the end time too, right? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. God's judgment. And him that sat on it, uh -huh. from whose face the earth and the heavens fled away. Come on now. And there was found no place for them. Couldn't hide, could they? Could not hide. <laughs> and I saw the dead, uh -uh. small and great, Come on. stand before God. Now, who, who's that? What's that to you when you see that? I saw the dead stand, small and great, stand before God. In your opinion, what that means to you? Well, come on, then. There's you. only come on. one thing that come God on. Come on. created. Come on. And that ended up being dead. Come on. And that's man. Uh huh. Uh huh. So those mean the people who are not connected back to God. Yes. People who have not received salvation Amen. from our Savior. Yes. Amen. Yes. So they were spiritually disconnected. That's yes. what they're dead is. Okay. Yeah. Well, not basically. That, so that, that, yeah, that is. is. Great and small. It means whatever one of my Your statue is. A statue is in, in, in this world. Yes, sir. In yeah. this world. On this, on, this, on this earth. Yes, sir. Okay. So great and small. Small and great. Yes, sir. before God. Yes, sir. And the books were open. All right, now. Go ahead. And another book was open. Okay. So the books. Uh huh. And another book. And another book. <laughs> <laughs> it's a book. I think I think those are like this is everybody got a book. Yeah. Everybody got what's written about their life in a book. Yeah. Huh? God being a just God mm -hmm. is going to review no, your case file. Help us. Huh? <laughs> so we know 